So today I'm going to dismantle an MK328. It's a uh, ESR uh, capacitor and a transistor tester. I got it and it was defective and as you can see this is what you get. You put the battery in and you get a blank screen. Um, now sometimes if I take the battery out and put it back in it works but until first test and then nothing happens it just goes into this blank mode and you can't do anything with it it's dead until I actually take the battery out so I've got the battery in here and because it's so hard to get in and watch what happens I'm going to take the battery out disconnect it put it back in and now it actually it's gonna work this this one time it's going to work and if I hook up test to it, it'll test or not. It doesn't test. It just goes into that dead mode and nothing happens. And no matter what I do after that, nothing. So we're going to take it apart and see what happens. Okay. Put your connector out. Take these connectors out. And there's basically four screws. Stick broke off inside here. And let's see how. One thing I don't like about this unit right off the bat if this is the true thing is there's no on or an off switch on this at least not the way it is now i like that it actually has a nice connector here not much to it in here and show what we've got shot here of this unit if you can focus that on there now i'll take the uh, other screws on here and you see on the other side this is what you see on the screen here Let's switch there no. I'm going to be careful I don't break it here but I'm going to put the battery back on here and a burst here we'll put the battery back in here see if it maybe it's just a switch that's not working okay so it works here unfortunately nothing else works there's no menu and it just goes into this mode here nothing works and that's the problem it's dead on arrival so I caught that at the company and the after a few emails, they decided that uh, they would send me another one. And like I said, it's in the mail um, and I'm supposed to get it. So I'll do another review once the new one comes in. But this is where this thing is at right now. Not much to it, single board. much holding it in place it's just a ribbon cable on here it's a little loose there EZM electronics 
And there's a whole bunch of these units. They're all, all the same. I suspect probably made by the same company. So, so reassemble it here. The case is not bad. It's a it's a neat, decent case, fairly solid. It's got this stand on it. One major issue you'll notice with this adapter is the alignments of the pins. They don't match the sockets. The soldering is such that they don't line up. So for me to use, I would actually have to unsolder. You can actually see here how it's, see if I can zoom in here, you can actually see how they literally do not line up, so I can't actually put it in there. They don't, the pins do not line up. They, you can bend them, I suppose, to f get them in, but that's not the point. So what I think I'll do is, is if I was to do this, is I would uh, uh, unsolder these, put them in the unit, line them up, and then re-solder them so that it goes in properly. But since this is defective, when the new one comes in, we'll see if the new one is any better. It's, it's been in the mail. I've been waiting for about two weeks now on this unit, uh, the replacement. And uh, we'll see uh, see what happens. I'll do another review on the, on the new one when it comes in. Um, so this is the MK328 TR LCR ESR tester by EZM Electronic Studios on Amazon. If you appreciate videos like this, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel. Kindly leave a comment if you have any questions about this review. Thank you for watching and we will see you next time.